Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning. Welcome back to the Finca. Sharon's all summery. Beautiful day. I've just been out watering the plants that we repotted yesterday and I was too hot in my jumper so don't know how long it'll last but maybe it's the most It's only going to get it. warmer. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so yesterday, if you remember at the end of the video, we were getting a bit green fingered. Yes. Weren't we? We, yes, were. we were. We were quite good at this green fingering. And um, same topic, slightly different vein. I just had a notice the ground was damp around the septic tank. So I thought, out of curiosity, I'm going to check it. Um, so I took the lid off it. There's absolutely no smell at all. And it's been in service for four years. Yep. And there's no sludge in it at all. It's a, di it's a modern digester, biodigester yep. tank. It's working perfectly. We don't think we'll ever need to get it emptied. Yep. And in the same vein, it has a soaker way that runs up behind us there, where we planted some fruit trees. So out of curiosity, I took the top off the inspection hatch off the soak away and there's actually a, a four metre puddle of water in there where it soaks into the land. Um, it is soaking in obviously, but the, this is the battle that we face. It's not going in as easily as it should no. do because the ground is so blooming hard. <laughs> um, slowly it is. <laughs> we planted some fruit trees around, we've struggled with them. But we think now, as time goes on, it's going to spread more. Um, we've got a couple more coming, haven't we, to yes. replace yeah. um, what we've, a couple that we've lost. But um, just wanted to report, yeah, it's working absolutely yeah. perfectly. So we will have our orchard, we and will. we're determined to. We keep, <laughs> keep flushing the and loop. And we would highly recommend the system as well. So anyone looking to get a septic oh, tank. Four years, yeah, and it, yeah. there's no sludge in it, no smells. And uh, it's, it is now starting to water the land. Yep. So that's that. Um, we can't do any more with them. We'll just sit back and wait for the blossoms and the no. fruit. So enough waffle. <laughs> Let's get these tiles sealed. Tiles? Stones stone. We've sealed. done tiles. We're on stones <laughs> now. So en route to the stones, passing the workshop, thought I'd just share with you. We've been given another aircon unit. Thank you, Stuart. Um, so this one we can have in the apartment upstairs. Um, the bench is a mess again, it always is. These pipes here are just in association with the unit, um, so we need to clear it off again. Um, <laughs> that's all we ever do. But yeah, so absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Stuart. So here we are at the stones, um, all dried out nicely after yesterday. They've come up really well, we're really pleased with them. Obviously they're not perfect, you know, they're millions of years old. Um, but then none of our house is perfect, as you know, so it'll go down quite nicely, I think. Um, so the next job, as we said, is to get them sealed and then we can start to get them into place and um, figure out our next jigsaw puzzle. So off we go. I think the first coat's just going to absolutely soak in. So in anticipation, we're going to start bringing sand and gravel around.
Right, so my next, for my next trick, um, this pipe is the feed for the um, water heater. We put it on after, retrospectively, not even knowing we could get one. It's a sensor that tells us the temperature, the water level automatically fills it, and the heater for it as well. But we are going to be building um, a porch over this at some point, um, so that will disguise all of that. But as you can see, it's got a big sag in it, so I'm just going to put a clip in the centre to um, lift it up a bit. Better? That looks better. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> That's the second coat going on. I don't know if you can see, if I move out of the sun, you can see how it's sealed them up. Yeah, it's put like a bit of a shine on them. Um, that's absolutely fantastic. We thought we'd use potentially gallons, <laughs> litres and litres for these, but the first coat's gone in, second coat's going on all right. Um, fantastic. So we're nearly ready, we just need to let them dry properly and we get them in. <laughs> Tilly! Not going to be easy, is it, Come on, you can, you're not helping. Hey. Come on, big girl. I'll see daddy. Good girl. <sighs> I keep the dog under control. So I'm just going to do this bit around the top of the step here because I forgot. <laughs> I did the whole rest of the floor. Alright, <laughs> come here. Go away, you. The dust there. Yeah. I'm so glad to get rid of this dust in here. It's terrible. <laughs> You're helping. You're trying to help. You're trying to help. You're trying to help. You're not helping. You're not helping. It's not good for you, that stuff. It's not for dogs. No. Not good for you, Tilly. <laughs> Lovely. Look at that. Smashing. Cool. Carry on. So that done, the only other thing we want to do is this bar, little bar area. I still need a second coat of lime wash by the way if you're looking at the wall there. And stones in here which is the old corral which is of course our utility room. Um, they've never been sealed, they get very dusty so I think a good scrubbing and then seal them with the same stuff make it a lot easier for me to keep clean because this is where we feed the cats and Tilly of course and then they're very messy creatures Right, so the time's come get this floor done um, first thing we need to do is roll up our cardboard carpet yes. it's yes. served as well <laughs> but yes. it's, um, yeah, it's about reaching its limits now and you got about three or four months out of one if you consider in doing it. And that's without having a Tilly dog of course. Yes. She likes to chew carpet. <laughs> and we cannot wait because even when Jessie comes through the dust that billows up from it, it's just horrendous. The place is just a massive dust bowl. So we've got a big plastic bag. I think if we fold it in half yeah. and roll it up. Yeah, um, sounds like a plan. Start with the bin. Which way this way? Ah. Smooth underneath. Right. Good riddance. <coughs> Up by cardboard, hello floor. Hello till he's helping. We got the stable door half ah, open there because Jesse's going to be on the other side of it. He's helping. I'll do it all together actually. Right, let's crack on. Okay. First thing, I'm going to bring the thickest, biggest one in. They've got a lovely sheen on these and find a place to put it. Right now, I'm just going to put it down there. Ugh. I might have to dig out a little bit for it. Um, so we'll have a mess about and locate it. Right, so we've settled for here for it. <laughs> we 
this step's really high, um, especially as knees get older. Um, so we want to reduce the height of that. Um, it's a, still a bit high for the floor there, but we're going to gradually slope that in to where it meets the main part of the floor. So although I wanted it in the middle, it's going to get it's the roughest one as well. So it's going to get a lot of wear here, which should smooth it out nicely over the years. And um, so we're going to pack under here with our plant tray, sand and gravel, and then look at moving further down. Just going to stuff it underneath. It's not moving as it is, so pack it up. Got some. There we go. these are we've still got some bits in the floor that we need to take out to accommodate them some big pebbles that are just protruding a little bit nothing's ever straightforward is it <laughs> might have to get the big bar actually some of these and amazing how well they stick in it's only dirt Practically, I went to dig in every single one of these. Um, it's not bad the level, but there's the old lump stone that we've got to get out, and um, we weren't sure as we said. But basically, all we're doing is getting them up, getting them in, finding a level for them, then we'll pack them all up and bed them down properly. Shannon's yeah. shoveling them. It's about fourth, fourth bucket of small stones. You so. Um, luckily it's not too bad, it's pretty pretty easy to dig it out, but these things always take longer than expected. <laughs> so we're digging, chipping, oh so this piece will come off, slowly. These bits will do to fill in gaps as well, I think. We'll keep all of them. There we go. Nearly there. Far. <laughs> so we've got the bulk of it loosely in place. Um, we still need, we're going to need a few more, but um, that's not looking too bad. So I'm going to start bedding them down and leveling them now. There's a view from the other side. Um, going to need a few more, a couple more for up this end here. And we're going to have to go on a hunt. But generally, um, the bulk of it's there. That end there, we need to level the ones at the end of the, the unit there. And then we'll work out our our slope down. But until they're in, um, they're just sitting there for now. So um, get the planche out, sand and gravel. Let's get on it. So I'm just gonna start um, right at this end. Get these leveled up. Um, spot on that side. Needs to come up this way a little bit. It's got a lump in the middle of it. It is a stone. Perhaps at this side. Let's we'll chuck some of this under it. Remembering where these go. Yeah. It's a steady slow process. 
Always more. I don't want to go too much because I don't need a lot under it. So carry on as always right so from here that way all you can see is set in and we've got some holes of course we've got some smaller ones that are already sealed I'm going to see if I can fit these in any of the gaps and um, otherwise we went well where I'm going to have to start searching for others to fit in the gaps and then get them sealed and um, I think we're going to point these in before we do that bit there so there's no movement there's no risk of anything moving um, so i'll go and carry on jigsaw puzzling right cool i just swept them all down we've had a bit of a conference until it's got a stick and um, what we're going to do we're going to point these in but only half point them in do you mind tilly just to lock them in place and then um shaman's going to do that and then i'm going to be finding stones <laughs> <laughs> Alpha keeps running away so she keeps chasing him. I told him if he doesn't run then she wouldn't chase him. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be finding, selecting the stones to go in the gaps, getting them cleaned up, getting them sealed at the same time. Um, and then once this is done, we've used all our sealed stones, more or less. Um, we can look at doing that and look at finishing it off without disturbing it or moving it because they're just sat on sand and gravel at the minute. Right, I've had a slight change of plan, not only slight. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all these gaps filled in um, and fixed in place first um, before we do any more just to get them all ready. First job though is to um, find stones that are going to fit in them. I've got a bunch of stones here, basically just walk around and pick them up and uh, I've got my chipping hammer so I'm going to start filling these gaps so I've filled in the obvious gaps with obvious sized stones some of these don't fit so we're just going to start breaking them up into pieces, make them into pieces that fit right, he'll go in there, lovely doesn't quite fit and we'll fit these bits in there like that and so it goes on basically we've got an unlimited supply of these outside so it doesn't matter if we break them up or damage them or do anything so I'll carry on break that one on my leg perfect Super. So with all the little gaps filled and inspected by Tilly, um, I'm going to get a mix on now and um, start setting them in place. So we're off. I'm just going to set these in. Hopefully keep Tilly out of the way. And I'm going to do the joints quite deep so we can point the whole lot up after. And, um, but at least then it should be fairly secure. 
put that one off it on there. Fab. We'll come back to you in a bit when we've got a bit more done. Well, here we are in the downstairs loo. It's been a long time since you've seen me in here. Um, I can't obviously do anything on the where Andy's working at the moment and I was going to put some sealer on the stones in the bar, little bar area, um, but unfortunately our puppy's still not house trained and for some reason she likes to do a whittle in there. So I've got to, I've cleaned it, scrubbed it, but obviously need to let it dry. So I'm gonna do the tire stones in here because these were never sealed. We didn't know about this fantastic stuff at that point. Um, so I've just cleaned them all and I'm gonna get this done. I think it'll make it a lot easier to keep clean. So, I shall crack on. And meanwhile, back in here, um, nothing to report really, I'm just filling joints, packing them in, securing all the stones in place. I'm um, nearly done most of it actually, I've just I've kept them deep so we can do a final pointing after, but even getting these filled now will make the final pointing a lot quicker and easier. When we're done, the new stones that we're putting in that haven't been sealed, we're just going to seal all the joints and uh, all the mortar in between them and yeah probably it doesn't matter if he's got another bit over the top of them again so that's completely sealed as well. well the toilet's done and um, I've got some stuff left so I'm just going to go around now and seal the um, the edging really that Andy did um, because tyres have all been done as you know this hasn't so anything that limits the dust is always good in my book because there's more dust in this house than I've ever known in my life. <laughs> yeah. So there we go that's the whole lot done all set um, needs a final pointing but generally um, they're all solid now Give them a couple of hours or so, they shouldn't move, <laughs> just to keep the animals out for a bit. And um, But yeah, happy day, I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic. It's looking good already. Well, that's as much as we can do for today. Um, we're off to the vets now with Miss Tilly for her first lot of inoculations. Um, just put a new harness on her, she's looking very smart, <laughs> not yeah. sure about it. Oh, good girl. I don't know what happened to our docile puppy that we picked up three weeks ago today. She's turned into a little monster, haven't you? Yeah, she's very cheeky. You're very cheeky, yes. So, yeah, that's it, folks, for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all our subscribers. We're nearly at the 10,000, which is amazing. Thank you so much. And um, all our patrons, of course, and everybody that's bought us a coffee. And we'll see you on the next one.